And now we're going to start seeing really the fringe of what is Zeta. Overnight heavy rainfall, likely gusty winds, and that will lead to some power outages because of this fast moving storm. Winds at 80 miles per hour. You can see that well defined eye. What's very interesting about this storm is I've been following it. Once it made landfall, the eye of that storm really collapsed over New Orleans and it actually reformed over Mississippi. That's a rarity. Uh, oftentimes you don't see the formation of those eyes redevelop developing inland. Category one still winds at 80 miles per hour, zipping across Alabama, moving into North Georgia early tomorrow morning and then off towards Virginia. I expect this particular storm to produce significant rainfall in some parts of Alabama. Tornado watches to our southwest. Heaviest rain, strongest winds are in this eye wall. That's going to be this area of circulation closest to the core of this storm. As this tracks to the north and northeast, that's when our rain chances start going up. Just like we saw with our reporters out in the field, they're on the very fringe of the rain bands right now. Moderate to heavy rainfall anywhere from Greensboro up through Tuscaloosa into Fayette, starting to inch closer to that I-65 corridor. Lighter rainfall in East Alabama. Tropical storm warning in effect now for most of central East and South Alabama. That's because the winds overnight tonight are going to be picking up. We may have a spin up tornado, but the focus is the straight line winds. By midnight, Clanton, we could be looking at near 40 mile per hour winds, upwards of 30 miles per hour in Talladega by 2 o'clock. Clanton, 44 mile per hour winds at 2 a.m. And then this is going to travel east, and we're going to start seeing the situation really start to deteriorate in East Alabama after 2 a.m. from Talladega to Anniston, and then from Anniston up towards center from 4 to 6 a.m. And the wind speeds, even though they will start to taper by daybreak tomorrow, it's still going to be a breezy Thursday. We're looking at winds anywhere between 10 to 15 miles per hour, even throughout mid morning after the brunt of the storm has left us. Looking at our future cast, we can really see that heavy rainfall along and south of 20. 459 there, Alabaster down to Clanton. This will be tracking east of I-65 after midnight and then traveling, as mentioned before, into Georgia early tomorrow morning. Temperatures overnight stay in the 70s, but there will be some big changes for us because a cold front is following this tropical system. So temperatures actually start out a bit warmer than we're going to end up later tomorrow afternoon. Rainfall totals amounting anywhere between an inch to maybe three inches in some spots. I still think the focus of rain is going to be right along that 2059 corridor and we could see some locally heavy spots. So sometimes these rainfall maps, although very good at kind of identifying where we'll see some of the most rain in the buckets, we could see some localized area that see a little bit more. So just be prepared for that. That's why we have flooding alerts across central Alabama. Flash flood watches are in effect. It's the flash flood that brings a bit of danger, but because this is happening overnight, the one benefit we won't have as many cars on the roadways for that. So we're tracking gusty winds, heavy rainfall tonight, and then a sharp cool down as we head towards the end of the week. That cold front's going to drop those temperatures to 50 by Friday morning. Some spots in the 40s, 63 for our high there on Friday, followed by morning lows in the 40s on Saturday. And we'll remain in the mid to upper 60s for our highs this weekend. It does look like sunshine's back, though. Weather aware stays in place for tonight. We'll get to see that weather aware uh, kind of we'll, we'll get rid of that early tomorrow, but we're going to wait till the tropical conditions have subsided. Clearing skies on Friday, and it's going to be very nice for your Halloween. May not be a spooky forecast for all those ghosts and goblins. A little cool, though, and don't forget, Saturday night we fall back an hour. We gain the hour of sleep and good news sunshine for next week, and that bodes well for Election Day on Tuesday. And that's